Follow along in this video, look in the description box below and it tells you which colors of dye from Jar Dharma, Jacquard, and Prochem, each one a black, a gray, and um, a silver. These little dye percentages, laminated, that'll keep your colors straight. Something to tie around the lid of the jar, pint jars, and this gram scale. That's a jeweler's scale, so it's super sensitive. And one of these four inch pans to heat set. Now we have our labels, half a percent, one, one and a half, two. We have our die. And all we're gonna do is take a little measurer like this and measure 0.005%. Now these are 10 gram skeins, so 0.005 of a gram is a tiny amount, as you can see. So I scraped some out and there's our 0.5%. So now we're gonna put it in our 0 0.05 jar. And here we are, all of the dye is measured. Take our citric acid and we're gonna add just a little bit because these are 10 gram skeins to each jar. I just fill that up until it's near the top of the glass jars. And now we're gonna grab any one of these 10 gram skeins and into the dye bath it goes. Now, if you can see right here, it's quite red. So it's interesting to see how these colors like this is supposed to be jet black, but it's going to end up being a reddish tone. Are going to work out. This is supposed to be Dharma at 5% black, which should be absolutely jet fucking black. But instead, I did it as though all the skeins were 1 gram instead of 10 grams. So when I was weighing out all the dye, um, the most dye that's in any of these is a half a gram instead of what it was supposed to be. Holy fuck. None of them are black. I have to do the whole thing over again. Prochem black, and I'm going to use them as an example. This is a fraction of 1%, this gradient right here. This is all less than one fraction of 1%. This right here, these middle ranges, as you can tell, are so similar, I'm not even actually going to add them into the dye atlas. And then this is our 1%, 2%, 3%, 4%, and 5%. So optically, there's really not much of a difference between 4% and 5%. And from here to here, it's fairly, it's a fairly small jump. So this is the reason why I'm not, and this is across all the dye brands, I'm not adding these middle shades that are still fractions of 1% like a third of a percent, a quarter of a percent, etc., of dye. So I just wanted to give you guys like a close up of why I only included these and these in the dye atlas that I'm making. Here are our four dye cards, Prochem, Jacquard, Dharma True Black, and Dharma Toner Black. I would say that the main takeaway is that overall True Black performs better than Toner Black in my opinion. The 3%, and there's photos that you can cross-compare in the description below, is not nearly as concentrated as 3% toner. So this one still shows up as quite a bit gray. This is a warmer gray tone than this one. So this one's a neutral cool. This one's slightly yellowed. Again, check the photos. Moving on. Jacquard is also quite warm. And as a matter of fact, quite brown. The rest of them are optically black at 3%, but this one still runs quite brown. And um, if you take a look at Jacquard Gray next to Prochem Gray, you can see that warmth. The best overall, I, in my opinion, for my purposes, would be Prochem Black. 
The gray that it makes is really, really beautiful and icy and gray. Not warm gray, not blue gray, just true neutral gray. It breaks less than the other colors did at these light concentrations. And even at 2%, it looks almost as black as 5%. None of the other ones were quite as concentrated. And what this really means is, is that, you know, if you're a home dyer, you're probably only going to notice a small difference in dye usage. But if you dye 100, 200, 300 skeins a month and you use a lot of black, this is the difference between, you know, getting an extra 10 or 20 batches, getting to get a solid black color at 2% versus 5%. You're using, you know, several grams less dye per batch. So I hope you enjoyed how to do this and one lucky Kofi winner is going to win one of these and 30 10 gram skeins of yarn in all the different gray colors as well as of course this